Let us now discuss the conditions that are required for a chemical change. Now for a chemical change it is necessary that the particles collide or be in proximity with each other. Now this can be done either by bringing them in close contact or by supplying them energy. So based on this we can say that there are many conditions or for a chemical change to undergo first of which is mixing. When particles are brought in close contact or let's say when particles are mixed together a chemical reaction will take place. For example we know that iodine and phosphorus react vigorously when brought in close contact with each other. In fact they will react explosively. Now also if we talk about the white colored lead nitrate it upon reaction with potassium iodide gives us yellowish lead iodide that is the chemical reaction for the same can be written as Pb NO3 whole twice that is white colored lead nitrate upon reaction with as I said potassium iodide will give us the first product will of course be potassium nitrate and the other one will be yellowish potassium iodide sorry lead iodide. So we can say that a chemical reaction might take place if two substances are brought in close contact with each other. Another important condition for the formation or for the condition of chemical change can be the presence of a catalyst. We know that certain chemical reactions might or might not take place but in the presence of a catalyst they might accelerate or decelerate that is their rate of reaction might increase or might as well decrease. For example if we talk about the decomposition of potassium chlorate it does not happen be below 700 degrees Celsius and even then the release of oxygen is very slow. But if we carry out the same reaction in the presence of manganese dioxide then what will happen the not only the reaction will will take place at a very lower temperature that is 300 degrees Celsius 300 degrees Celsius also the rate of reaction or rate of formation of oxygen will be very 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 fast that is if I have to write well we can say twice of KClO3 gives us 2 times KCl plus 3 O2. Although this reaction will be very slow without the presence of catalyst but in the presence of MnO2 this reaction will trigger and the rate of formation or the rate of release of oxygen will be very more. Now based upon their action catalyst can also be of two types they can be positive catalyst that is the one which increases the rate of reaction are also known as catalytic promoters and the others which decreases the rate of reaction or known as or are known as catalytic inhibitors. The first one or the example of first one can be well seen in the release or in the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Now hydrogen peroxide that is twice H2O2 or we can simply say H2O2 this 2 is nothing but the stoichiometry will decomposes into H2O or I can say twice H2O plus O2 at a much faster rate if it is carried out in the presence of manganese dioxide that is MnO2. But this reaction will slow or will be slowed down if this reaction the same reaction is carried out in the presence of a negative catalyst and which is phosphoric acid. So twice H2O2 in case of phosphoric acid will present here will release the oxygen or will decompose at a much slower rate in water as well as oxygen. So you can say that here in the first case this MnO2 or manganese dioxide is acting as a catalytic promoter or a positive catalyst while here the phosphoric acid is acting as a negative catalyst or catalytic inhibitor.